Chris to a great extent. What yeah. impact did you hope to have through your message? Yeah. Guys, please don't disrupt while people are talking. Thank you. So when, as I said in the uh, email to the community um, on Monday, uh, I had been receiving, well, be a little more detailed, I received I don't know how many different emails calling on me to uh, stop the referendum from happening in the first Power! place. Power! Power! To stop the referendum from happening in the first place, which I thought was deeply inappropriate. Everybody has a, the right to vote, okay? And then, um, after the vote was taken, knowing that I'd be coming here, and knowing that the um, tallying of the vote would take maybe until today or tomorrow, unless there was an appeal, I, and knowing how um, uh, tortured the campus had been in the, in the two weeks leading up to the, the Thursday deadline, with uh, all kinds of disruptions related to, and, and harassment, um, related to the vote, I thought it important to just share my views about issues on the referendum. It is not, I didn't want to sully the vote itself. I don't know what the vote, how the vote is going to turn out, but I felt it was the, that the campus deserved clarity, and I offered clarity. Um, and so that is why I sent the email to the community. And that is why I sent the message to the community, uh, and then also because one of the two the, the two referenda questions about ab uh, calling on Rusa to advocate to take a position on BDS and also to take a position regarding whether to keep, <laughs> whether to keep ties uh, to Tel Aviv University, and so in that um, email. I, I made clear my view was on BDS, and then also made my clear my clear, and then made clear my view on treating. And I made my. And I made my clear on Tel Aviv University and the fact that we're not separating relationships.